What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Everywhere you go in Japan, there is literally history all over the place. You can't turn a corner without running into a temple or some kind of ancient site that's maybe hundreds of years or thousands of years old, but then also they kind of they work together in a way that they can have the old stuff with brand new modern technology and new buildings and new everything, but neither one crushes the other. And that's amazing to see here in Japan. You are seeing the rich culture and the heritage and how much importance they pay towards that. So enough sightseeing for me right now as I'm actually here for my day job as the producer for the Waterman Needs Media team and we are in Japan for the Victoria Cup. This is the first stop of the Standard Hill Series for 2016 and I'm looking forward to seeing all the racers and meeting up with everyone again after an entire off season. So let's head to the beach and start filming the event. back here at Zushi Beach. Uh, can't believe it's come around this quick, the first stop of the Stand World Series, and just excited to be here. This is one of my favorite places to come in the world, as Japan, everyone's so nice, and you know, the conditions are perfect. Nice, smooth water. Uh, you know, what have you been up to in the off season? We haven't seen you for a while now. Yeah, it's been a while, you know, uh, just <laughs> my off season's been pretty busy, surfing giant waves, uh, traveling around the world to surf big waves, and then, you know, been working on uh, the downwind stuff, hydrofoil, and that's kind of just all I've been doing um, as far as paddling goes. The other day we visited the Daibutsu, the big Buddha, and that was pretty amazing. Yeah. A bunch of temples. Yeah, it was just there's so much culture right around Zushi City and um, we've been trying to take the most of it. Yeah, Japan's beautiful. It's, it's so cool. I mean, look, Fuji, huh? yeah. Fuji in the background right there. So cool. Right on. And, you know, we are here for a race this weekend as well. Um, we are? You guys are, <laughs> are you ready race? to get started on the World Series for 2016? Absolutely. I mean, um, you know, it's, it's exciting. We've had a couple of big races already this year, but to be traveling internationally and start that whole season is... Um, something I'm really excited for. And Deanna, there's something definitely. alive in this bag. <laughs> it's seriously, I think there's something growing We're trying in here. to do like an actual <laughs> interview. What is it? What is it though? Like... Right on, you've been here a couple of days now. What's the most weird or exciting thing you've seen so far? Well, the most weird thing I've seen here in Japan so far was uh, uh, I, I bought a hot dog the other day out of a, a dis, uh, uh, what do you call like a dispenser, like next to all the colas and, and sodas and stuff. Um, that was weird. Like it had a microwave inside the machine, so so when I pushed the button and put the money in, like I heard this big noise, like it was a microwave that started blowing up. And then next thing I know, there was a hot dog and like it squirts ketchup down on it. Here in Japan, they are crazy in love with their vending machines. Like I mean. It's a food vending machine where you can get, well, whatever the picture show you, and then that microwave inside the machine that cooks it you. But you have vending machines that gives you hot dogs, hamburgers, pizzas, <laughs> literally anything you can think of. Like, look at this. Look at there. Ice cream's in the cone. I mean, not that ice cream's is a. It's just crazy. And this is just in the lobby of our hotel. Cup of noodles. Ooh, my, my kid would like that. Okay, I'm just gonna get a coffee quickly. Um, so you know, they're really on <laughs> they're on the forefront of technology over here in Japan, and I think uh, that and probably the, the 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 cyborg toilets. What one will work? Hmm. Uh, that's the next uh, next frontier in uh, in personal technology. Yeah. When 
all the action on the water is done and the trophies have been handed out, there's still a lot of work left to do for the production crew. But before we get started with highlight videos, and press releases and everything else, we normally like to go out for a quick bite of dinner and then get to work. Hello guys, Mark oh, yeah. from Kauai and New Zealand. Aloha. Stuart from the UK and Good day. Hawaii. Good day. I think it's you, it's like you as the man, not yeah, an event organizer, but you also <laughs> makes probably everybody you've ever heard of. Ever. Ever. Hi. 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 It's a real pain when they don't have a cloak on. The problem is they don't have anywhere to store my cane. So if I don't have a cloak on, do I just give them my shirt? Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> the bar. I think that's all we need to go. It's oh, just the bar. Oh, sweet. Yeah, let's clean through that door. <laughs> Tristan, how welcome right. did you feel in that place there? I felt pretty welcome. I felt out of place, but I felt pretty welcome. <laughs> Look at this place. This is a long little... We definitely were out of our depth in that spot. Normally we do smaller restaurants, I would say. Not Lani places like that. 